Hey everyone, this is Jennifer Beamer, owner and operator of Actually Diet Art by Science, and this is the daily vlog, episode number 47. And today I wanted to kind of just show off what I made when I was at home visiting some family in the States. I had this old, old, but really fabulous coat, and I loved the hood. So if you have curly hair like me, you are completely aware of how hats smash your curls. And as a result, it also doesn't look very nice when you take your hat off and you have probably the worst kind of hat hair. Um, so for me, I really like wearing hoods because it doesn't flatten my hair so much, but if it's really cold and windy, my ears don't freeze. <laughs> so um, my coat kind of bit the dust when I was home visiting. I realized because I was looking through some old, old pictures with my dad, and I was like, oh my gosh, I've had this coat since at least 2010. <laughs> and I've worn the heck out of it because I've worn it, you know, every season, it's my winter coat. Um, so the the pockets where you put your gloves and stuff like that was all just ratty and starting to fall apart. And there were like little holes starting. And my mother-in-law, she was gonna take me shopping um, so I could pick out a new coat. And she's like, you know what? I have a coat for you. So it turns out she bought two practically identical coats and she's like, you know, just take it. So <laughs> I have a new winter coat. And um, as a result, I decided to do something really crafty and make a cloak out of my old coat. So I basically cut off the part, which actually was really not good anymore. But oddly enough, the hood was still good and the bottom of the coat was still good. So I decided to just shrink it a little bit and, and um, make my cloak. So let me show you a little bit here. <laughs> it comes down and it's super cute. The, the back opens. You see my butt? <laughs> so, um, basically, what I did is I cut off the top part of the coat where the lapels are. So, this part here, if I can turn a little bit into the light so you can see this more. Um, this was the part of the coat that originally would cross over and it would button. So I cut all the buttons off and I realized, you know, I could probably do something with this. <laughs> so silly me, I cut all the buttons off and had to resew some of them on. Um, but this button here is uh, the original button. This is how it would have closed at the top with my old coat. And then um, basically what I did is the bottom of the coat, I shifted up. And I had the ends sort of lining up. I don't know if you can kind of see that. But this is the bottom part of the coat here, and this is the top part of the coat here. They kind of meet right there. And it's angled so that when it goes up over my shoulder, it it makes this really nice shoulder drape. And as a result, there's sort of like this opening here in the front but it's closed in the back. And there's nothing worse than getting a draft up your backside. Right? <laughs> um, and I had a, um, a uh, what is it, it's a, a dress form. I had a dress form mannequin that uh, was donated to me from my mother-in-law. She got a, a different one that fit her body a little better. And so she gave me her old one. I think, it, I think hers now adjusts in more places. So you get a really nice custom fit. For mine, it was just one of the more basic ones. I think it's like, oh, I don't even know how much it would have been. <laughs> but um, if you have one, great. Or if you have access to one, that's even, that's even better because you don't have to worry about storing it. But if you have a dress form or if you know somebody who's really good at sewing, um, they can pin. If you want to do this project, you can like have them pin it while you're wearing it so that you can um, get everything just right and when you stitch it, it'll it'll look right on you. So this is a custom uh, cloak, and as a result, may not fit right on everybody. 
but it's really easy to alter something like this. You just you just need a coat that is long enough so that you can use the bottom to make this cape. So anyway, it goes really well over my um, my new winter coat, which does not have a hood. It's part of the reason why I wanted to keep this and, and turn it into something that would be usable. Um, so when I go to grad school in the UK, I want to have the option to wear this when it's raining, but not necessarily really cold because the wool is going to absorb some of the moisture and kind of keep me from feeling too cold. Um, but it's going to be warmer than just a rain jacket. So um, I've had the pleasure of meeting a few English men and women while here in Seoul, and they always say that when it rains in England, it's the bone chilling kind of cold, and they don't like it. <laughs> well, the ones I've talked to, I don't like it. They like Seoul because it's subtropical, so very different than England. Um, but they're like, you know, I've done this for 40 years. I don't want to go back anytime soon. <laughs> so taking their advice, I decided to come up with this as an accessory to wear over a coat. Um, so that it's basically like wearing two coats. I'm extremely warm and toasty and my head is covered, but I can, they're separate so I can wear them different, you know, depending on whatever different weather I'm experiencing at the time. So um, that's really great. Anyway, so um, if you're feeling a little adventurous, I recommend doing something like this. Uh, Goodwill usually has coats like this available. Um, for not a lot of money, I think maybe 20 or $30 a piece, depending on the quality. Um, and, you know, part of the reason why I did this was because I wasn't going to be sad if I had to throw the whole thing away because it really wasn't good for anybody else to use either in the state it was in. It needed a lot of repairs. So, um, you know, if you're feeling up to it, being a little adventurous, I recommend, you know, just getting out there and trying something because I am really the opposite of, of an artist. I really have never identified myself as being an artist. I've never been really crafty or extremely creative with anything. But, you know, doing all this fiber stuff has really improved my mood and my approach to creativity. Um, so I feel a little bit more ballsy trying things. Anyway, I'll be back with another daily vlog soon, hopefully. And um, if you have any comments or questions, you can post those below. Uh, like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you to all of the subscribers who have subscribed to my channel. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. Did you like watching this video? Click Monty if you would like to subscribe. Or click Socket if you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching.